Hello, good day friends. This is Saim Hassan and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create an object in 3ds Max and then import into Maya without destroying the mesh or the texture part edits. I made a video three years ago showing how to import the object from Maya into 3ds Max but it was quite easy because both softwares recognize the format FBX so if you use the FBX format they can actually uh, you can create an object in any of these softwares and then import that in, in another software but uh, creating creating an object in max and then importing into Maya is actually a little bit different because when you import an FBX object from max to Maya it destroys the mesh so for example here we have uh, some have a model and it is exactly in uh, quads so everything is in quad in this model nothing is in uh, uh, triangles apologies. and uh, but when we import that in export that into FBX and then import this model in Maya I'm talking about FBX what happens when I sent that file to one of my client he returned me uh, this thing so if you can see that so uh, everything was converted into triangles and it was unacceptable so uh, and also the materials were lost so uh, let me show you how you can fix this problem let's create an object in 3ds max so I suppose you already know how to model so I'm not going to focus on modeling It's going to be just a demonstration, so I'm just going to do a little modification like always. Not too much. Just to show you that everything is working fine. So here's our model, and suppose we also have a texture on it. Let's not just suppose, let's put a texture on it. And uh, if you hear background noises, apologies for that, because I've been waiting for a long time for these guys to shut up, but they won't stop. So I had to make the tutorial because it's Sunday today here and I just wanted to make the tutorial. Um, I have some materials here. Apologies if I'm getting some late. I was not prepared for the tutorial. But uh, but, 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 but let's just move forward. Um, where are the textures? Yes. Okay, bricks. Let's use the bricks. And let's use this one. Okay. And one more thing: when you're creating the object or an entire scene in 3ds Max, make sure you put each and every texture that you're going to use in your scene or object in a in a separate folder that you know the location of. So uh, in this case, um, we just imported this texture. Uh, I want to make sure that it is in F textures build te breaks and timing. okay. I know the location. Attach this to diffuse. <coughs> Assign this. Apply you mapping. I'm, I'm just going to put automatic kind of mapping on it. All right. Wow. Thank you very much. Apologies for the background noises once again. <coughs> okay, I'm going to convert that. And now let's save this object to import into Maya without destroying the mesh and uh, texture coordinates so I'm going to export that go to export and uh, if you have an entire scene just click on export if you want to export a single object export selected so we want to export this object so I have selected export selected I'm not going to export that into FBX again because it is going to destroy the mesh it's going to convert everything into uh, triangles and that's what I do not want so to keep everything fine let's just go to OBJ object exporter so um, after that let's put a file name I say test01 hit OK and here this dialog box appears in this dialog box you can change the faces to triangles, squares or polygons well I'm gonna keep this uh, everything to parse already and uh, if you check this uh, checkbox in optimize section here 
uh, which says the texture coordinates, it will keep the textures. And if you want to import the materials, export the materials, you can do that here. But on my computer, uh, it actually hangs when I use this option. So I'm not going to uh, check this option. So uh, use map path. You can use the path if you have uh, already a folder in which you, you have uh, kept all the materials. So everything is fine. Just make sure the preset is uh, Maya and uh, then just export that it takes a while if the object is there are too many objects but in this case it's done and um, now let's go to Maya and I'm just going to drag the file in here this is test 01 and the material and this is the test 01 file which we have just exported import that into Maya and well it's thinking it's still thinking Apologies, my computer is Core i3 with full GB RAM, and that's why it has to think when we do these kind of things. Okay, uh, zoom out. As you can see, uh, everything is fine. Everything is in cards. Nothing has been changed to uh, what it was. Uh, triangles, yes. Okay, and uh, let's see materials. Okay, there are no materials yet, but. There are no materials, but I can still fix this problem. Um, did we convert that to... Yes, we did. And we applied the material on it. What happened then? Oops. Oops. Oh my god. Yeah, attribute editor. Apologies, I forgot. Okay, and let's go back. Go to attribute editor, and in attribute editor, go to material, and uh, go to color, and it should hold the path. It has the path, but it destroyed the path. So you just have to update the path again. Click on that. Go to textures. Oh, sorry, F textures build and or whatever that thing is and then let's go to my computer um, F texture boot yep texture boot where is that? Yeah. Where is that? and uh, in here bricks and in the bricks it's time yes that's it okay and now you can see the coordinates were uh, saved it is the same object that as it was in 3ds max so you can see both objects are looking fine and everything is in quad and uh, now you can save that object in whatever format you want so say you want to save it in Maya you can save that in Maya format in whatever you want so thank you for watching I uh, hope it helps and uh, take care of yourself bye